I think relationship and reciprocity and responsibility work. Um, and that's one thing I see in a lot of different indigenous cultures. That type of governance, that type of caretaking where humans are integrated into the, the spirit of this place, the community of this place, is something that has worked for our nations for thousands of years. I think that movement is growing all over the place, you know, as more and more conservation organizations, international conservation organizations are recognizing that they need to support indigenous-led conservation. People often think of salmon as a sea creature, but they're also a forest creature. They're born in the forest in these tiny streams. They spend sometimes the first year of their life, maybe two years, up in tiny streams in the forest. They go out to the ocean as adults and then they come home as elders to spawn again in the same rivers where they were born and raised. There are old, old stories in our cultures and there's one I know of where the salmon people were not able to come home due to some climate change that happened a long time ago. Hu ak uyi. And when the salmon people weren't able to come home, everybody began to starve because everybody eats salmon. We're all connected with the salmon. Um, even today, there's over 50 species of insects that are connected to the rotting carcasses of salmon far inland, up rich river valleys, and those in turn feed the birds, the songbirds. So every year, the songbird population in a valley will reflect how many salmon came home to that river system the year before. And the bears and the wolves, of course, you know, they spread the salmon around. They, they eat it and they fertilize the forest. And so the tree rings, the growth rings of the trees also reflect how many salmon came home year by year basis. It was very dire. And I'm not gonna tell the whole story on film because it belongs to our community. But Timot saved us. And Timot is this beautiful plant right here. And it was long ago in the time of transformation. So before they took this form semi-permanently or whatever time frame we're in right now. But when the salmon people came home, they knew that Timot has suffered to help us survive during that time. And they held a potlatch feast. And at that potlatch feast, they acknowledged Timot, which sometimes when we have a potlatch, if there's somebody in the crowd who has lost a loved one recently, they're ta'ith, they're taken in front of everyone and wrapped in a beautiful blanket. They're given that blanket to show community support in the process of healing. And that's done right at the beginning to acknowledge their presence, but also honor that they might not be celebrating the way everybody else is, um, but still thank them for coming and being witnesses to the important event. So Timot was ta'ith by the salmon. He was wrapped in a beautiful yellow blanket to thank him for having provided for us while the salmon people weren't able to come home and we avoided um, deathly starvation. And salmon also gave the rights to Timot to, lived in, to live in the softest, most fertile parts of the forest. And that's the salmon's right because this forest is the salmon's domain. They are the one who fertilize it. This is their domain. And so I'm reminded of that whenever I see Timot, that this is a salmon forest. And the integrity of salmon's life is our own integrity. Without it, we're gonna starve. It worries me a lot that the salmon are under such threat and disappearing. And there's a lot of work ongoing to try and protect the salmon and their habitat and the forests. For me, it's not about moving forward, it's about staying deeper, mm. being more committed to this place. And I see that in our community. We want to protect our ancestral forests. We want to protect the water. We want to protect, the, protect these salmon and the fish that come here. This mm -hmm. was once one of the richest rivers on Vancouver Island. All of the runs of salmon came through here. Mm -hmm. There's areas where they spawn in the gravel. I, I'm really personally deeply disturbed by the salmon imprisonment, the underwater jails that are taking place right now where salmon are being forced to feed 
things that they wouldn't normally eat and including food dye to make them red. The so salmon, when they are wild, when they're able to carry out their roles with dignity as they always have, they are an incredible medicine for us and their lifespan is connected to ours. All the parts of the salmon need to be respected. Their entire life cycle, their entire body, and their entire habitat. Heishukishtzawak means everything is one, everything is interconnected. And I guess to the folks out in the salmon nation, I just want to say tleiko, tleiko min, because um, all of our efforts strengthen one another.